Okay, so here's all of our stuff set out for our baked ziti. I need to shred some mozzarella cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. I have some stuff going in the oven for a different project. So we're gonna finish this up and then we'll come back and show you the rest. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this cheese grated up. It's kind of boring to watch, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get it done. Okay, switching gears over here. We're gonna go ahead and get our pasta on. So I'm gonna get that filled up. And then over here, we're gonna start. It calls for ground beef and Nick eats beef. I do not eat beef. So we're gonna do ground turkey instead. So we're gonna get our pasta going. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to that. And then in this pan, we're gonna get our ground turkey and our onions. My eyes are watering a little bit because those onions are stout, or that onion is stout. We're just gonna add a little bit of salt to our pasta water. And then Nick went to the store for me, so he got me this to use, which is fun. And I was appreciative that he ran that errand. So we're just gonna add that and it does call for a pound we're gonna let that it works best it works best when you turn the oven on just throwing that out there so we're gonna let that get going come over here and it says to do on low so we're gonna turn that on the other day the other day I was making tea and I kept wondering why it wasn't getting warm because I didn't have the eye on Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of avocado oil here. We're gonna add our ground turkey. And then we're also gonna add our onion. And we're gonna let this cook over medium. This is gonna take about eight minutes and we'll come back and get this all thrown together. So we're just letting this get combined. I've got this on medium, waiting for that to come up to a boil. Okay, so everything's cooking away. Nick is home and so he is finishing up the Parmesan cheese, he's shredding that for me in the background. He picked me up some from Publix. We still haven't made it to Sam's, but either way. So we're gonna add in our pasta sauce and we're gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes. And I've got I've got my phone on a timer. I've got our microwave on a timer. So I'll have to just remember this, that this needs to simmer for 15 minutes and then it'll be ready. Pasta's still boiling away. We're almost ready with it. And then we'll come back and come on. Okay, so I've already greased this. We're gonna add half of our pasta to the bottom. And then we're gonna take some of our mixture and sprinkle it kind of over over that. Watch now, maybe you can see a little bit easier. So we're gonna add just a little bit more of that. We are gonna put some sliced provolone cheese. So we just got slices of provolone. I'm making homemade sandwich bread so Nick can take this to work if he wants for cheese for the homemade sandwich bread. So we're gonna put Parmesan slices. You can obviously get your block Parmesan and do this as well. Or block provolone and do this as well. And then we're gonna put sour cream on and I'm just going to kind of dollop it on I'm not really sure how you're supposed to do this part of it so this is kind of what I came up with which is kind of dollop what I had left in this container kind of over top 
like that. Then on top, then on top of this, we're gonna add the rest of our pasta noodles. The remainder of our sauce. We are gonna have leftovers for days, folks. <laughs> That's fine though. I like to cook where I don't have to cook the next day and preferably prepare lunches, so that should do. Now, our mozzarella cheese that we shredded up, we're gonna sprinkle it on top. That looks pretty good right there. And then to this, we're gonna top with the Parmesan cheese that Nick just prepared for us. We went ahead and um, grated the whole thing. That way we have some for later meals for topping stuff with and I, I, we don't have to grate again because I hate grating cheese. Okay, so this is ready. I've got some other things, a thing baking for another video, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in. It goes in uh, 350 degrees. You know, it doesn't, it says for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. That looks so good in there. I can't wait to show y'all that. That's its own separate little video, but we're gonna pop this in. Okay, so all the, Parmesan, all the Parmesan cheese is shredded, so we have extra. I'll put that in the fridge. That goes in the oven, 350 for, uh, broken nail, 350 for um, 30 minutes. I'll keep a check on it because I also have something else baking in there. I'm gonna get the kitchen cleaned up because this is a lot of stuff and it's stressing me out. Y'all know it stresses me out when my kitchen's a disaster in my house, period. So we're gonna get all this cleaned up and we'll come back and take a look and see how good it looks. I guarantee it's gonna be great. Okay friends, so the baked ziti is done and out of the oven. It looks so good. Actually did not take the full 30 minutes. Luckily I had a banana bread in there that I was checking to see if it was done. And so I checked it and this looks perfect. Let me swing you down and let you take a look at it. Okay, so I thought you guys might enjoy kind of a taste test on camera because I'm gonna be honest, not everything I cook is good. Now, if it is good, I either say it or I type it in the um, on the screen for you to know, but if it's bad, then I'll let you know it's bad. But I'll go ahead and taste test this. That's still pretty hot because I just pulled it out of the oven, but let's go ahead and take a, take a bite. So I got a little bit of everything. There's a little piece of turkey and then the noodles and then some of the sauce. You can see that it's steamy hot. That mozzarella and Parmesan cheese really melts it in very, very well. So let me get this cooled off just a smidge. That's good. That's really good. I got a piece that was kind of on the edge. So the noodle was just a little bit on the edge, was a little bit tough where it had gotten, I didn't get everything covered ideally. Just a little bit of knowledge I have, you wanna make sure all your noodles are covered so they stay soft. But the other part of it and the turkey and the cheese, so good. So we 
are gonna eat supper and we'll see you guys in the next one bye friends